again, stitched all the way around the outside edge, and then um, a little eyelids with just stitching. Just take a little pin and um, put it where you want it, and then stitch it. And stitch the lines under the eyes. Now here she's added with a with a hot glue gun a piece of nylon to look like the inner lip all the way around, like that. Let's see, she did that on both of these. Now we're going to add uh, do some other things. So let's uh, go on to the next section. Wow. Now this one, long eyelashes and sculpted eyes. And the mouth has been added. Again, stitching is all the way around the back. And I think I'm going to make a, a black girl out of her. I've got this fabric paint and paint brushes. Now, I've already done, remember the twins? There was Who Fooling Who and Me Fooling You. This is the other one. And I used yellow fabric paint, about three coats. My daughter helped me with this. Got yarn across here and there. And just rouge. There, hot glue gun on that section. And then I'm stitching right around there. Right now I've got that pinned on. Just a little piggy tail. In the back, just a little piece of fake fur. Let's look at the different types of um, hair that we can put on, the, on these puppets and ventriloquist figures. Now there's different colors. If you were going to have a funny character you could use red or blue, green. But if you're going to use a believable character, here's gold. This is, this is uh, my Chuckles the Clown has yellow, brown, uh, red, black, white, gray, and there's also a mixture of gray and black together. There um, are various kinds. There's, there are Halloween wigs that are always good. Here's what's called Maxi Loop. I've got the address if you want to find where a distributor is. This would be cute on the little girl that's going to be black. Or a curly headed baby. And then a wig. And I've got various addresses for wig catalogs. If you will write me. Again, send a double stamp, business size, help address envelope, and I will um, send you the information that you need. I use spray net, sometimes a real stiff spray, and just a comb, and um, spray that real, the puppet hair real tightly. This is a wig, too. And this has sculptured ears that I, many of them have. In a future program, we're going to be looking at the different characters that I have more closely. But it's just nylon with the uh, uh, polyester inside and then stitched on the sewing machine. These were stitched by hand. A little white behind the animal eyes. That has its own sculpted nose. This has the seams down the side. Uh, not to forget the rest of the painted puppets. This was, this is a, another, I have two clowns. This is one of them. And I'm going to use, I painted this probably two, three coats. Haven't got the mouth painted yet. This is going to be my French clown. Be all black and white. And this one, just my regular clown. With the red wig from a costume shop. Don't forget to go to your costume shops. They're great. Go to Simp Liners in Mount Pleasant. Get a lot of things. Here's a little nose that I'm going to put on. A little foam nose, clown nose. And I used, again, fabric paint on the inside of his lips. This is then sculpted and then, and then painted. Then pink on the inside and then black in here. 